get your work, to be recognized, to get your work recognized, to be valued, you have to be willing to pull your chair up to the table and create a conversation that's not being had yet. It's a conversation about you, what you bring to the table, what differentiates you from everyone else, what gives you a deeper connection to your work, to your team, to your peers. When you create that conversation, when you pull up your chair to that table, here's what you're going to say. You're going to focus on four things. Creating that conversation is one, about your value. Two, about your contributions. Three, about your accomplishments. And four, about your lessons learned. Let's talk about each one of those. When you create the conversation, you get yourself noticed, your work is noticed, you are valued because you're talking about your value. That's the first, that's the first piece. Know your value. Know what you bring to the table. Know that you're an asset to your team, to your peers. And listen, this is in career and in life. You've got to know your value and be able to articulate it. Because what you bring to the table, what sets you apart, that is what gets you recognized and valued. Your contributions. You are doing things every single day. You may be just killing it, just knocking it out of the park. But maybe people don't see it. Look, everybody's busy running around. Everybody has their own thing to do. But your contributions are making a difference. So why not say that? Why not say, hey, you know what? I did X, Y, and Z, and this was the outcome. Or, hey, you know what? That was a great, that was a great cross-functional project. I am so glad I was able to be part of that team to reach this outcome that's going to drive the business forward. Your contributions have to be part of the narrative and the conversation that you're willing to create about yourself. Your accomplishments, it's the same exact principle. Listen, and I... I'm one who I keep a list. I learned this a long time ago. When I have big wins, small wins, even on my computer, my iPad, write it down. I keep a list of those accomplishments because those pieces of information are, I mean, that's your, that's your secret sauce. That's your evidence that not only do you bring value and contribution, but this is the evidence of the work that you're doing every day. This is what's driving you forward. This is why you wanna pull up your chair to that table because look at what you've accomplished. Look at what you have to offer. So whether it's weekly or monthly or quarterly, write down your list of accomplishments. Write down those wins. Write down what you're doing and how you're doing it. It's gonna be a valuable piece of information for you in getting your work recognized and value. Number four is the lessons learned. And look, that may not quite fit. And you're thinking, why, if I'm talking about value and contributions and accomplishments, why am I talking about lessons learned? You're talking about lessons learned because you're showing your experience. And I can't tell you how key that is to getting your work and yourself recognized and valued. The lessons you learn you can articulate how you learn those lessons and why they're so important and why they're informing what you're doing now. I mean, it's a great conversation cue that I love to teach my clients because it goes something like this. You're literally in a conversation. You can say, well, based on my experience doing X, I'd recommend we do Y. Or you know what? Yes, I think you're right. Based on my experience, we've gone down that road before. Let's try this instead. When you start to use those kind of language cues, you're not saying, hey, I learned a lesson. You're using language cues that says, look, I have a deep expertise and knowledge. I have a lot of experience. You need to tap into that experience. I bring a lot to the table. My experience should not only be valued, but it should be valuable to those around you. That is why the lessons learned is number four. 
because based on your experience, you're reaching deep to share your knowledge, to share your expertise and showing that when you pull your chair up to that table to create the conversation about yourself, talking about your value, your accomplishments, your contributions, your lessons learned, that is the secret sauce to not only being recognized, but valued and valued for a long time to come. That is truly what everybody aspires to be. Listen, don't go to work and just go through the motions and check the box. You're not going to get noticed that way. And you're not going to be valued that way. And don't sit there and hope, oh, well, they'll notice. I don't have to talk about myself. They won't. They won't notice. One thing I have learned is that if you don't speak up for yourself, no one's going to do it for you. If you don't champion and advocate for yourself, no one's going to do it for you. You have to be your own best champion and create a conversation about the value you bring and the value you add every single day. That is why and that is how you have impact and that is how you become a valued member of the team. And look, once you articulate that, you're not going to stay in your role. You're going to continue to move up and move up and move up because people value your expertise and experience. And there are ways that we talk about your value and contributions and accomplishments and lessons learned where you're not bragging, but instead you're telling them why you belong at that table, why they want you at that table, why they want you on their side. So the next time you wonder, how do I get my work noticed? How do I, how do I get noticed? How, how, how do I make sure I'm valued? Pull up your chair, step into your power and create the conversation that is going to change your career. And listen, if you use those four principles, it's going to change your life. It's going to change how you view yourself, but more importantly, how others view you as well.